Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So this is something I just wanted to say and remind myself of. I often try to remind myself about this, and this is just something I would like to share with all all of you guys. So we have such a beautiful religion, and when the more we know about the Quran, the more we read or study its teachings it shows its beauty even more to us and i think we as muslims we should represent this beauty the way we interact with each other the way we treat people the way we communicate the language we use the words that we use those should be also beautiful i think uh, <laughs> what we do should also reflect like the beauty of our deen so when we go to each other's like youtube channels or watch oh this is my cat that's my cat her name is Nura. anyway so when we go to each other's like youtube channels and we comment each other's videos we should be very nice to each other. We should be supportive. We should like encourage each other and support each other and not go and humiliate each other or embarrass each other in front of others. Like when we go to the comment section and we say things like we say these not nice things it's like why do we do that why do we have to put each other down shouldn't we be encouraging ourselves and showing like from our words show the beauty of this religion yes we can advise each other as brothers and sisters we can it like give loving ex uh, like advice we can give advice to each other lovingly and nicely like even Musa alayhi salam when he was going to Fir'aun Allah told him to speak to Fir'aun nicely so <laughs> that's Fir'aun and Allah knew that he's not going to believe and still he told Musa alayhi salam to speak to Fir'aun kindly so how can we not speak nicely to each other like if we want to advi uh, like give advice to a brother or a sister maybe it's better like we should approach them privately and nicely and politely and then try to share something with them rather than going to the comment section and just say whatever comes to our mind like what our deen teaches us what the quran teaches us what what the authentic sunnah teaches us like how we should communicate with people how we, we should interact with each other uh, we should know better than just go and say right whatever we want like we should be careful with with our words and nice, nice to each other. We should r reflect the beauty of the steen in every way. Because <laughs> I was thinking about if we we pray and we study, we read the Quran, maybe we, we recite the Quran and then we read translation and we practice this religion. If that starts making us rude or rough or tough or like judgmental towards other people then i think we are doing something wrong like something is not right in what we are doing if we are becoming judgmental towards others like i try to always constantly remind myself of this we cannot, we absolutely cannot become judgmental towards others. We cannot judge others 
And if we do, and if we feel that we are better than others, then it means that we have failed already. We have failed already if we feel that we are better than others. Only Allah can judge a person and only Allah knows a heart of a person. We don't. And we can, like, we should have this positive environment where we, we can share a piece of an advice with our brother or sister uh, lovingly with nice words. And we can, like we should always, obviously we should speak the truth always and we should always speak about uh, all the teachings of the Qur'an honestly and openly. But we should also just be nice to each other. We don't know what a person is going through. Like we should be understanding towards people also. Try to understand each other. This Dean is so beautiful, it's just full of beauty and and if we become like these tough people that not nice people then we're doing something wrong. There's something something's not right because this religion should make us more compassionate, more understanding and more empathic towards people and soft. It, this religion should really soften up our hearts. That's how, oh, what, what it should do to us. So we should always keep in mind also the, the goal of uh, us getting knowledge and getting better, uh, like trying to learn and study. That we always keep in mind the purpose of all the, all of that. Why are we learning these things? We are learning these things in order to be closer to Allah, to become like have have a closer relationship, an even more loving relationship with Allah. To just get ourselves as close to Allah as possible, and that's the only purpose of why we are studying why we are learning why we are trying to get better and why why we are trying to do more only just in order to get closer to Allah and this is something that we always have to keep reminding ourselves of like so that we wouldn't become judgmental because if we become judgmental towards others that means we have failed we have failed so for those of you who want to, for example, give me a piece of advice or something, then I will put my email address in the description bo box down below. And you can email me privately and tell me if, you, if there's something you want to share with me or if there's something that I could do better so that you don't have to do it in the comments section. And also, if we are informing someone about uh, some like issue, something, some rule or something about a ruling, then I think it's good that we also give like the references that where this is coming from. I think that's a good thing to do as well. But anyway, for those of you who, who might want to give an advice, then uh, you can do it <laughs> by email and also uh, I don't want any weird emails so <laughs> please don't send me those I'm married I am married I am totally married alhamdulillah so please don't send me anything weird <laughs> that's something I just wanted to say I'm sorry I always make super long videos but thanks for watching um, I hope that Allah makes it easy for all of us to see and be able to focus on the good in people and be able to see good in in all people and be able to I hope that Allah gives us the ability to be understanding and compassionate towards all people and all uh, Allah's creation and I hope uh, that Allah makes it easy for us to communicate uh, in a way that pleases him the most. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.